Hell Hunger Bound is a 12-month faith-based regeneration program for men dealing with addictions. It was started in 1991 uh, by a veteran who had gone to war and gotten into some substance abuse and came back and realized that he needed help. There wasn't a lot of stuff around the area for him to receive help, so he started this place. A lot of these guys come in and they have been addicted to drugs or alcohol for the majority of their life and they've never actually seen anything through all the way. They come in here completely broken. They don't think that they have any self-worth. They have nowhere to go. We get men who are on the brink of death. A lot of the guys who are coming here, it's their last hope. We've had many guys who have entered our program who uh, got high with their friend and that friend died and this is like a wake-up call like I've got to get some help. The process of building furniture is actually a very important part of the program. The majority of the guys that come in are people that have never read a tape measure, they've never operated a drill, they certainly have never been around a table saw before. I get the pleasure of seeing them every single week improve on these small things that a lot of people in the trade would take for granted. Uh, being able to tell a guy, hey, measure this out to, you know, 12 and 1 16th inches, and then seeing them finally click in their head what a 16th is on a tape measure, and they're like, okay, I've got this. And when they first come into the wood shop, they are kind of bright-eyed, they're afraid to touch stuff, they don't know what to do, they mistake the most simple things that we all take for granted. The first day, we take them over to our store, which is a showroom, and they are always quiet and taking it in and looking around and probably thinking to themselves, how the heck am I ever going to do this? But over the time in there, they become more confident, they're able to build a piece of furniture, and normally when the guys build their first tabletop, which is uh, kind of our bread and butter is tables here at NLB Furniture. They put a tabletop together and they're like, this is amazing. I cannot believe I did this. And I will go forward and be like, man, this is really great. You did all of these things right. But this can be done better. And with that, their heart just sinks. And you can see, you know, just once again, they're, they're not good enough. They, they haven't done something right. Quality is our bread and butter. It's our name. That's what we put behind it and it's not just because of the furniture it's because we want these guys to take pride in what they do and we want them to understand what it takes to put something out that's going to be in a customer's home and we want them to be very proud of what they're doing you can see that they're determined to actually do better they're determined that the that every single seam in that tabletop is going to be closed up that the joinery is going to be nice and tight that everything that that I've taught them that they know in their power is going to be done to the best of their ability and you see this light start turning on in their head that they can actually build something. That this table that somebody is willing to pay $3,000 for is going to be sitting in this house that they've never even dreamed they could ever have an influence on ever. That they're building something that they are putting in to someone else's life that is probably going to get passed down to their children, maybe even their grandchildren. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's really unique. It's unlike um, any other place that I've ever heard of. There's something to be said about um, having the opportunity to work um, while you're doing the therapeutic treatment. Woodworking is my favorite thing to do in the world. It's a spiritual thing for me. It's an opportunity to, to express myself artistically. Coming into the wood shop, just being fully supported by Hamilton and Trish. You know, the fact that they believed in me, um, it really just let me pour my heart and my soul out into the things I got to build. Man, in the wood shop, like when I came into this program, I always wanted to get in here because it's like a community inside a community, a small community in here. Um, and it's like a brotherhood that's a little different here in the wood shop. And, you know, for me, I always wanted to get in here and like learn woodworking. I've always worked with my hands um, and I was able to get trained by a great guy. Um, and now for like me, it's even gave me an opportunity outside of the program to actually have employment here which gives me a safe environment that I know I'm walking into a daily, you know, to come and work at. When we, when we get to rock bottom, we have a hard time, like, knowing what we need to do for ourselves and, and doing them. So this place, you know, helps us, helps us do that for sure and, and then challenges us as we go. Yeah, it's, it's very, very unique. It takes a different angle on, you know, instead of just, you know, putting you back to where you were, it, it puts you 
back into a better place. Kind of helps you recreate yourself. The people who purchase our furniture are extremely aware of the mission statement here at No Longer Bound and they love when the guys actually deliver pieces of work over to their home as well. But these guys get to see that not only the customer is satisfied, but the customer is blown away by what they were able to make. That their life is actually starting to change. That the process of building furniture and the process of being in part of this brotherhood is making them something that they never really thought was possible and they're able to use the stuff that they learn in class to deal with their emotions in a healthy way in a work environment and pour themselves into something and say, yeah, you know, for the last 10 years, I've been doing this extremely wrong, but I've got this in front of me right now and I can do this right. And they go through the process and they get it done right. And afterwards they say, all right, what's next?